Thundridge Old Church has stood for centuries, but in November 2025 something extraordinary is happening. We hope to discover exactly how old some of the timbers are. So I work with the um, Not in Tree Index Laboratory. Now I've been doing scientific dating for the last 25 years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim for the I'm going to go from the outside of the tree and aim for the centre. That gives you a felling date. It gives you a felling date. You can get a felling date range. Yeah. Although look, that's the centre there. There are very few timbers surviving in there. There's a, a total of five that were of interest to the group that's looking at this. So we were asked to come along. Um, just to see if we could take some samples from the different timbers to get an idea, hopefully, um, when it gets our chronology and get a, a date for when the timbers were growing. So if you take a timber, some here, where you don't know when it was felled, and you measure the pattern, you look at that growth, that climatic pattern, and then you compare it against our reference patterns where we do know when this timber grew, hopefully you get a match, and it's one unique match. But if a match is found, they could reveal when key repairs or modifications to the tower took place. So we now take them back to the lab and we will, using a belt sander, we'll, we'll sand one side um, to get a nice polished surface where you can really see the growth pattern. Every time you get to the end of a ring, you press the cursor and it records that width of that um, growth ring. we we'll compare it against our reference material in the hope that it will be a um, pattern that we have stored somewhere in our references. Subscribe and receive a notification of part two when the results come in.